Hi all of you. This is Gil. August 24th, 2024. And we got, we got a number of people who try to pull a fast one on me, you know, like I have this person trying to scam me. I mean, I'm getting this all the time, you know, like messenger, you know, like this person who I never heard of and the way she talks to me or the way they talk to me, I mean, it's pretty easy to tell. It's kind of tell, easy to tell that they're trying to scam me, you know? Like the, the things they say. And then for me, I was just being funny and saying that I would replenish my savings. And then they say that never heard that have I gotten any funds from any foundations before. And like, okay, like, like it's a sudden thing, you know? Sudden, you know, like... No one will ever do that. I mean, nobody ever does that suddenly, you know. I don't know where they get this. Well, you know, I think I'm getting flooded all all this, you know, like. And then the way they they say that sounds good and <laughs> just like that. Come on now. Nobody, nobody does that just like that. Nobody will do things like that just like that. I mean, like, just like I don't even know the person, you know, like. And they try to they try to pull a fast one on me and then they say what's the cash app tag and stuff people ask the media and then and then they come keep coming back at me like i don't i don't i'm not gonna answer that and then, and then you know i'm familiarized with all this stuff you know yeah i mean i'm familiarized with this i i don't know what <coughs> how scammers get at i mean i don't i don't know how they get what they get out of it by passing our um cash app whatever it is or paypal or i don't i don't know how how they're able to scam us by by just giving us giving them a um information of paypal like like where to send money to like i don't know how how that works i didn't know that i'm not going to be passing out my cash app um app so yeah a lot of people they gotta really watch out for these unscrupulous people, man. They like, gotta really watch out. I'm, I'm become, how I call it, like, I've become immune to it, you know. But sometimes, you know, like, sometimes, like, they, they sound pretty legit, you know. They gotta watch out for anything that sounds legit, man. I mean, a lot, a lot of times, these scams can sound very legit. And I heard about a story. <clears throat> I don't remember the name of the YouTuber, but I just know that it was this lady on YouTube who had like 65 subscribers like I do now. And I don't know what happened. It was like some website, like some email, Aquanet or whatever it was. And, and then I don't know the whole story, but I just know that she decided to sign in to something that they offered. And then the next thing you know, like her, her, um, YouTube got hijacked or something and then something happened and she lost everything. She lost everything of her YouTube content, you know, like, and she had to start all over, you know, like, start all over with that video. Like, I don't know what happened, but it's weird. It's weird things that's happened ever since that she went ahead and signed, signed up for something. I don't know. I don't know the full story, but I just know that I, I get very weary. See, I don't, I don't even really answer any of these emails that try to promise something, you know, because that's, um, it's very, very weary for me, you know, because especially I know, I know that they're trying to pull a fast one basing it on the way they talk to me, the way they talk to me, they, they sound so happy to see me, yeah, they are full of shit, everybody, like some people, like, like old oh, jobs too i mean like i'll try to have i'll probably have people like flooding me with them <clears throat> like i'll show you right now i mean well, let me see i know that i my my um phone number is flooded and that's why i don't answer calls you know like well i know like my messenger you know like no not messengers but well messages too i mean see i get flooded with with this kind of stuff you know it's all, I get flooded with all this, you know? Well, I mean, well, Target careers, or our careers everywhere, I mean, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound legit, you know? I mean, 
And then, of course, I like a lot of these, a lot of these. I, mean, I get a lot of that. I mean, shit. I get flooded with that. I mean, it's like I know it's not legit. I mean, I know. Because no, nobody is ever happy to see me. <laughs> nobody. I don't care what you say. Nobody's ever that happy to see me. <laughs> yeah, like these. And that, that's how it's easy for me to tell. It's fake, man, because... Nobody's ever easy. Nobody's ever happy to see me. <laughs> I could tell you that much, man. So you gotta watch out for these scams, you know. Like, <clears throat> and I know, I know my kid. I mean, I had fallen for some of these kind of things. Well, it's not. It's no big deal. But well, I know my kid lost it in Instagram or something, an account or somewhere like that. She lost an Instagram account because some hacker got her. I don't know how. I don't know how it happened, but I just so she just re re um re um how we call it. She just went ahead and created a new account and that kind of shit, you know. But there was no information or anything. So I mean, but I tell you, you gotta really watch out for these uh, things that sound pretty legit sometimes, you know. But. At this point, I'm not, I don't even take, I don't even, like, take any offers from these emails. Because sometimes, I'm getting a lot of these emails, like, claiming that they want to send me a product, you know. It kind of, that part sounds kind of legit, and I think in some cases it probably is. Probably is, but <clears throat> I don't want to be passing out my address and all that. I don't want to be passing out my information through the through any of those even if they are legit because i'm very wary about people these days you know because it, it gets so many inscrupulous people man like shit and some a lot of ass wipes trying to like like trying to bite take a bite out of you you know like it's like these you know like the strong survives it's like when you when you have um people like trying to like mess you up for their gain for their gain you know like these assholes you know like people that that try to like that, that degrade you or harm you like so they can gain something out of you you know like for like these fake um promises you know like people who may um like when you send money to somebody for a promise and they just scammed you you know or or like well the people who get harmed so for people who get harmed so they can gain, you know, like the people, like it, that goes with car dealers who rip people off. Now the person buying the car gets harmed, it's, he's harmed, but it's for the gain, it's for the car dealer's gain and shit, you know, like that's kind of shit, you know, like the people that are like that, man, they're gonna, be gonna get people that's gonna try to harm you all the time. There's always gonna be people who's gonna try to harm you for their gain so they can gain something, you know, like, that's, that's how this real, that's how the, it is in this real, real world, you know, you're gonna always have people trying to harm you in some way, like, so they can gain something out of you, you know, like, well, scams, people who scam you, like, they turn promise, like, something good, and then you believe in it, and then you got scammed, and you just got, you just got badly harmed, and it was only because it, it, it gang, it made someone gain something from you, you know, fucking assholes, you know, <clears throat> so, yeah, so I hope this rant sounded, was good for you to hear, so that way you could be aware of any unscrupulous people out there, which I come around a lot, a lot of. You know what I mean? Because like I say, like I say, if someone is extra nice to you, <laughs> it's a scam, man. It's a scam. Nobody's ever that nice to me, man. Nobody ever is. Because everybody is always trying to you know, gain something out of me or, or gain something out of people who are innocent of all this, you know, or... People always think about themselves, you know, like, think about themselves. It's fucking asswipe world, you know, it's like that. That's how this asswipe world is, you know. Gotta watch out for people who just think about themselves, you know. You're gonna get a lot of that here. Get a lot of that. I mean, I get a lot of that, so. So, I'm, I'm, be, I'm old enough to know. I'm old enough to uh, know how to avoid... Problem, but but sometimes even being old enough, you know, I mean, 
may not be good enough sometimes because sometimes these can scams are pretty legit, man. They sound they're very legit, and that that's what you have to really watch out for, man. Like for me, well, I haven't had a problem with scams or anything other than when I was 18 years old. You know, like I got scammed in 18 years old too. Like back in the day, like when I when I was received a like when I received a letter. Well, I mean, like when I was trying to get a job assembling products and stuff, and then uh, and then it's like <coughs> I would call it. <clears throat> and then you know like uh, and then I uh, applied and everything and I didn't lose much money or anything but I mean but, it, but I knew that it was a scam you know like so yeah so all right well I hope you liked this video today is August 24th 2024 so yeah all right see y'all